actually, a couple more things on baseball. <clears throat> um, there's a couple cool series that I that I thought were were, were worth noting. Uh, the Yankees actually come to D.C. this this Father's Day weekend, uh, June fifteenth to the seventeenth. That should be that should be fun. And then of course the two interleague series between the Orioles and the Nationals, a little home and home. Um, I fully expect the Nationals to win both series, and I fully expect the Orioles to finish in last. <clears throat> um, why wouldn't they? I mean, you got Yankees, you got Red Sox, and you got Tampa. And don't think Tampa's not going to be in it because they're going to be in it again this year. <clears throat> but Baltimore's not better than Toronto. They're going to finish last again. Uh, but in uh, the next couple of weeks, we're going to go over all the divisions. Um, we're going to preview each division, but we'll focus uh, a lot on the AL East and a lot on the NL East. Um, I, we got a lot of good baseball guys um, that we can talk to on this show that know a lot about baseball, that watch a lot of baseball. I watch a lot of baseball. I get the baseball package, and I watch baseball every freaking night. Like, I am a baseball junkie. I love baseball. Um, and we're, we're going to have some pretty heated discussions. Um, and, and we'll get into a lot of fun stuff, especially betting on baseball. Betting on baseballs, it's, it's oof, man. You, you get a good pitching matchup you like and a good number you like, it's, it's good stuff, man. Um, and then, of course, uh, we're, we're in mid-February, so that means... March Madness is coming, kids. Um, one of my favorite sporting events of the year. Might be my favorite. Um, just in terms of excitement, nonstop action, games all day, just games until your eyes bleed, just baseball or basketball just all day. Comes on at 12, plays till 12. Those first two days of the tournament are two of the best days in sports. People skip work. They just go to the bar, just get hammered, just watching basketball all day, watching teams that you don't give a shit about most of the year, but you put in 25 bucks in your office pool, so all of a sudden you're hanging on to see if, you know, Missouri's going to hang on and beat Texas A&M or something crazy like that, you know, um, you know, to see if Belmont can pull off the 15-2 upset and, you know, you, you mix in St. Patrick's Day in there and and you got yourself a good week. You got some suds, you, you know, you got your buds, and, uh, you know, it, it's blast. And uh, we'll get into that. That's a gambler's paradise. Are you kidding me? NCAA tournament? Jeez, 16 games on Thursday, 16 more on Friday, and they're all on TV? Joking? It's like Las Vegas moved, and it, and it, and it decided to relocate near your living room. I mean, that's... It's gold, Jerry. Gold. So, um, we'll, we're gonna get into that. This is—it's about to speed up here. I mean, we're about to have March Madness, NBA winding down, baseball kicking in, free agency in the NFL. We're about to have the draft. I mean, this is the calm before the storm, kids. It's about to get a little bit hectic, and it's a fun time of the year. Um, not a lot of action going on. But with NFL offseason stuff and spring training getting going, there's a, there's going to be a lot of talk, a lot of um, just just a lot of chit chat, and then you got the big one with the with the tournament going on. It, there's a lot to talk about, and it's going to be exciting. So we're going to hopefully get most of these donkeys on here. Um, you know, I've I've been doing these shows at some kind of weird hours lately, but um. We're going to get back on schedule when the weather gets better and, and, and people's schedules kind of calm down a little bit. And uh, we'll, we'll have some more people on here. Um, <clears throat> I want to get Troy Turner on here. I need Cindy. You still need to defend yourself for your unexcusable actions. Uh, Watts, I need you on here for hockey. Um, and uh, Joseph Mattingly. I need to talk to you as well, sir. Um, there's a lot we can talk about, and it, and, and this show's going to get better. Um, <laughs> I, somebody said this show is completely, utterly boring or something the other day. 
and, um, you know, if it's completely and utterly boring, you don't have to listen to it. I, I won't be offended if you don't listen to me. I'm, you know, if you want to listen to me, you can. If not, you don't have to. It doesn't, you know, I don't care. But, uh, I think that is about it. Um, I want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day, right? Make sure you buy whoever a card and get them some cheap chocolate that's been sitting in a box since November when they packaged it. And, uh, you know, maybe some flowers or... I mean, is there anything more trivial and more cliche than Valentine's Day? I mean, good God, man. It is such an awful holiday. Um, if you need a holiday to tell the person you love that you love them, you might want to reassess your relationship. I mean, it's simple as that. I mean, the fact that you have to, like, go out and buy stuff. Here, I bought you these eight ninety nine Whitman sampler pack of chocolate with the little code on the roof of the box so you know what you're biting into before it kills you. Um, so I love you, baby. Give me a break. I, it's, you know, I mean, there, there's, I know there's like Hallmark holidays and stuff. Mother's Day and Father's Day, those are deserved. You know, parents put up with a lot of bullshit. Uh, I know my parents put up with a lot of my bullshit. So, um, those are deserved. But Valentine's Day, that's crap. Let's, let's be honest here. Crap. But have a happy one, though, kids. You know, make sure you, you know, uh, wrap it up. Don't want to be spreading any bugs around. There's enough of that going around this town. So, um, that's all I got for right now. Um, hopefully we'll have some guests on next week. We'll talk, uh, some Terps. We want to, we're going to go back more into the Caps. And, uh, we'll start looking at baseball. And, um... You know, we'll talk some college basketball on the national level and uh, see who's seeding where, and we'll, we'll start looking at the top seeds and uh, who's got a chance to win this thing. So um, that's about it. As always, this has been a 5 to 7 presentation. Tell 5 to 7 of your friends and Dave Matthews. Thank you very much for not suing me for using your song. Have a good evening.